Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Code Indu's donut platform. So let's get into it. Required programs that you're going to need to install donut is Node.js, MongoDB, and Git for Windows if you're on a Windows PC. So Git Bash. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download um, the MongoDB. So, um, so on Google, look up MongoDB download, and then go to their website. Click on server, and click download. This will install MongoDB with a free download. Um, accept it, and then we're going to run it. After it is done installing, click finish, and X this out. After your MongoDB um, installer is done downloading, open it, click OK. Then click Next, accept the agreement, uh, do a complete installation. You're going to want to leave most things default. Um, click Next, and then Install. And it should install your MongoDB. After you have MongoDB installed, you're going to go to your file browser, and you're going to want to go to local disk, program files, and there should be a um, folder named MongoDB, server, version number, bit, the bin folder, and you got Mongo, and you got MongoD. So, in your command prompt, you're going to want to copy this CD folder, or go to put put the path in a CD command, and then run Mongo D, and it should um fail because we need to create a um directory called in the C drive called data DB. So let's go to local um local disk new folder name it data um, I, and then make a folder called db and then when you try to run mongod it should work and then in a, another command prompt go to the same path so cd then the path to bin and then use command mongo now this should get the mongo shell running um, which is required for the donut platform so what you're gonna want to do to make it easier to run mongo is to so that way you don't have to put the path in every single time is you're going to go to the um, control center or control panel Go to System and Security, click on System, click Advanced some Systems Advanced System Settings, and after you get into the Advanced System Settings, you're going to put Environment Variables, and in the System Variable area, you see a variable called Path. You're going to want to double click it, not click OK. Double click Path, click on New. And you're gonna to want to paste the um, the um, directory where Mongo DB is installed. Um, so after you got that, you should be able to just open up the command prompt and type in Mongo, and the Mongo shell should be able to be run in the command prompt by only using mongo instead of having to go to the path run mongo d and stuff like that now you want to go to node js and um so in your google type in node js and click on download then you're going to want to install um whatever is correct for your operating system since this is Windows um, I do an MSI dot MSI one 
after you have it saved, run it. And go through the process of installing. Um, after Node.js is ready to install, click Next, accept their license, um, choose where you want Node.js to be installed. Um, I'm going to install it on my D drive. Um, you're going to leave this default and um, you can enable automatically install the necessary tools that will also make uh, no this will also install chocolatey the script will pop up a new window um, I'm not going to use that so just click next and then click install now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, type in in the search bar on github social platform donut and with this search you should see three repositories found um, and you're going to click on code it un indu social platform donut now when you're here you're going to want to fork the repository um, after it is forked, you're going to want to um, install git bash. To install git bash, what you're going to want to do is um, look up on Google git bash and git bash for Windows or git for Windows and you're going to click download. Save the file run the dot exe click next um leave it default unless you want to change what it wants leave it default um i i, I don't actually don't know but i'd leave this default um open ssl library Check out Windows style. And just leave all the default, and then it should want to ins um, install. After you get it, uh, since I already have it installed, I'm not going to continue with the installation. So after Git Bash is installed, you're going to want to go to the readme in the repository I want to copy this link from the readme It'll be in the description then you're going to want to open up git bash and run it as administrator and then paste it in and change username to your github username And then it should start cloning. So after you got Git Bash in, or your repository cloned, what you want to gonna do is you want to CD social platform donut, and then you want to get checkout development. So now we're in the development branch. What we're going to do is go to onto the website, and then go to the development branch in the repos or in the repository, so it's more clear. Okay, we're gonna we already installed MongoDB, so now we're going to go to the README and the server. And the server side readme is going to have your um, authentication key. 
So to create credential.js, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your um, word processor. Um, after you open it, you're going to want to copy this from the readme. And you're going to want to paste it into your word processor. So command V into it. Now you have this. So what you're wanna, going to want to do is remove this part because it's not needed. Now you're going to need to get a secret ID from Google. Secret ID from, uh, or you're going to need your DB URL, which I'll get that in a second. GitHub, um, O authentication, client ID, and secret ID, and one from Facebook, and a vape key one. Now let's, let's go into how to get these keys. Now the link that you're going to need for DB URL. I will put in the description, but the, the the link that you're going to need is this mongodb space colon space slash slash localhost colon two seven o one seven. Again, it will be in the description. Now to get the GitHub client ID. And secret ID. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna open up, go to your GitHub. You want to go to your pro, uh, your settings. Go to developer settings. For all oath authentication apps, you're gonna create new oath app, and then you're gonna put in the name. Now. You want to put in the um, homepage URL. And you want to maybe put in the description. And then register. Um, I just put this link into there as well. Now that you have um, your authentication app, you want to copy the client ID, open up where you have your Word file. And you want to go paste it into GitHub client ID. And then for client secret, you're gonna copy client the client secret from the page, and you're gonna paste it into GitHub client secret. So now that we have the GitHub one, let's get the Google one. So okay, to get the Google O authentication app credentials, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Google and you want to type in oath uh, Google Oathent click on this page go to the Google API console the previous page was is a um, more detailed guide so if you want read that it might be helpful now up here you want to click on new project you want to give your project a name then create. Now I'll take a second to create it. Now you wanna now that you you're gonna click go to notifications and click on it, it'll go to this page. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, gonna um copy the product or project ID, take that and paste it into Google secret client ID. Now, 
You want to take the project number and then t paste it into Google Client Secret. And now I'll show you how to get the Facebook client ID and secret ID. To get the um, Facebook client I and secret ID, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to develop ers or dot facebook dot com and it'll take you to this page facebook for developers now you're going to sign in using your facebook and uh, um you want to you'll need you to verify yourself but then what you're going to do is you're going to click on my apps and you're gonna create app, and then you gotta just um decide what name do you want for this and join a platform, and have your contact email, and you want to create app ID. I had to do a security check. So now you you're in your new app project. What you want to do is you're going to click on settings and go to basic. Now this is where your app ID is and your app secret. You kind of put in your app domain because and you want to go to put in your terms of service URL and privacy policy URL. Currently there is not one that I know of for Code Indu. Um you know to provide services to other businesses or support your my actually not support my own business. Um most stuff doesn't matter that much. Um you know save changes. Go to advance um, is this a native or desktop app? Yes, it is. And yes, it is. So, you're going to leave most of this stuff default, but what you're going to do is save changes, go to basic, copy the app ID, and put the app ID into... Facebook client ID and then you're gonna copy the app secret it's gonna ask you to sh put in your password after you put in your password it will show your app secret you're gonna want to copy this and you're gonna put it into Facebook client secret and then we're gonna need to get a vapid key to get a vapid key, what you're gonna need to do is click on this link in the server readme um, folder. It'll take you to this page. So inside the um, server folder, let me use this command. And after npm is installed, in that folder, you're gonna take this command. And you're gonna put it in. Since we're using a Windows command line, you're gonna change the slashes, the backward slashes, and then you got your public key and your private key. Now take your public key, copy it, then um, put it into the public vapid key spot. And then copy the private key. And then put it into the private key spot. Now we have all the sections filled out. So what you're going to do, now you want to go to where 
your it's like you want to save as in your um file thing save it as credential.js and make sure that it saves as a js file and then you want to save it to the location so go to users your user find social platform donut go into server and go to config and save it in here great and now we should be able to in the server file go to npn start and it should have the server part working so to test we go to loco host then 3000 yep and it's working so now that we got the first part working now we want to go into the client folder and what we're going to want to do is go down to the readme open up a new command line or github uh, git bash cd uh, open it as administrator Run as administrator, go to CD social platform donut slash client and use npm install. And this will install npm. After npm is installed in the um, client folder, go CD social platform donut slash client and then run npm serve um oh wait npm run serve i'm sorry and this will start up the donut um platform After it is done building and run and it starts running, we go to localhost eight thousand. All right, eight no, not eight thousand, eight thousand and eighty, and it will take us to the donut page. This and then you can log in and sign up here. So this is a video of how to install um, the donut platform. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you need any help, leave your questions in the comments and I'll see if I can help. And have a great day.